Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. FOMC Minutes Doesn't a T Lift Markets Analysis HTTP NTVForex.com News ID 183974 8 2020 20 10 AM US Dollar September USD up at 93.030 Energy September 20 Crude is down at 42.70 Financials The September 20 30 year bond is up 17 ticks and trading at 178.31 indices the September S&P 500 MNIES contract is 56 ticks lower and trading at 3359.75 Gold the August 20th gold contract is trading down at 1941.70 gold is 292 ticks lower than its close NBSP initial conclusion this is a nearly correlated market the dollar is up and crude is down which is normal and the 30-year bond is trading higher. The financials should always correlate with the US dollar such that if the dollar is lower then bonds should follow and vice versa. The S&P is lower and crude is trading lower which is not correlated. Gold is trading lower which is correlated with the US dollar trading up. NBSP I tend to believe that gold has an inverse relationship with the US dollar as when the US dollar is down gold tends to rise in value and vice versa. Think of it as a seesaw, when one is up the other should be down. I point this out to you to make you aware that when we don't have a correlated market, it means something is wrong. As traders you need to be aware of this and proceed with your eyes wide open. At this time all of Asia is trading lower. Currently all of Europe is trading lower as well. NBSP possible challenges to traders today Philly Fed manufacturing index is out at 8.30 a.m. estate. This is major. Unemployment claims is out at 8.30 a.m. estate. This is major. CB leading index MM is out at 10 a.m. estate. This is major. Natural gas storage is out at 10.30 a.m. estate. This is major. NBSP Treasuries we VE elected to switch gears a bit and show correlation between the 30-year bond ZB and the S&P futures contract. The S&P contract is the standard and poor S and the purpose is to show reverse correlation between the two instruments. Remember it's likened to a seesaw, when up goes up the other should go down and vice versa. Yesterday the ZB made its move at around 8.30 a.m. estate. The ZB hit a high at around that time and the S&P moved higher. If you look at the charts below ZB gave a signal at around 8.30 a.m. estate and the S&P moved higher at around the same time. Look at the charts below and you'll see a pattern for both assets. ZB hit a high at around 8.30 a.m. estate and the S&P was moving higher shortly thereafter. These charts represent the newest version of multi-charts and I've changed the time frame to a 15-minute chart to display better. This represented a shorting opportunity on the 30-year bond, as a trader you could have netted about 30 ticks per contract on this trade. Each tick is worth $31.25. Please note the front month for the ZB is now September 20. The SMP contract has been changed to September 20. I've changed the format to Renko bars such that it may be more apparent and visible. Charts courtesy of multi-charts built on an AMP platform. NBSP bias yesterday we gave the markets an upside bias as the USD, crude and gold were all trading lower yesterday morning and this usually bodes well for an upside day. The markets however had other ideas and the Dow traded lower by 85 points and the other indices lost ground as well. Today we're dealing with a nearly correlated market and it's correlated to the downside. Could this change of course? Remember anything can happen in a volatile market. NBSP commentary so yesterday the markets seemed to be correlated to the upside as the USD, crude and gold were all pointing lower yesterday morning. This usually bodes well for an upside and in fact the markets did move higher and traded higher most of the session. Then at around 2 p.m. estate the FOMC meeting minutes were released and it seems as though the folks at the Federal Reserve decided to lower their outlook on the U.S. economy due to the coronavirus situation. Whereas I can't say that I blame them but this is nothing nothing new. They along with everyone else knew this five months ago and now they decide to downplay the U.S. economy where have they been today we have Philly Fed manufacturing index and leading indicators. 
hopefully this can steer the markets accordingly. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at https://mt5.expert.advisors.